Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be creating a Windows 11 Windows to Go USB. Now, a lot of people may not know about Windows to Go because it was actually discontinued a few years ago. However, with Rufus, it is still completely possible to create a Windows to Go USB, even with the latest versions of Microsoft's operating system. A few years ago, I believe it was two or three years ago, I did a video on Windows to Go and how it was obsolete, but of course, I was using obsolete software and not the latest Microsoft operating system. So even though Windows 11 doesn't officially support Windows to Go because that was discontinued in May of 2020 for Windows 10, we're going to be seeing how we can do it with Rufus. I already have my 64 gigabyte USB in the computer. It is plugged into a USB 3 port. Um, I selected my Windows 11 unsupported PCs ISO. I'm only doing this because I don't know how the official Windows 11 is going to function. I mean, the computer I'm going to boot off of is compatible with Windows 11. And here from image option, this is where we switch standard Windows install to Windows to go. Because this is UEFI, I'm going to keep it GPT UEFI. And let's start. I'm going to go ahead and pick Windows 11 Pro for workstations, just, just because. And then we're going to let it go, and it is going to create Windows 11 to go on that USB. Now that our drive is ready to go, I just want to take a look at it inside of File Explorer. We can see that it is not a standard Windows installer, obviously. It is the full Windows C drive. We get the Windows folder, users, blah, 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 everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and reboot this PC and boot into the actual boot menu where we can select our Windows to go USB. All right, and here we are in my systems boot menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Windows Boot Manager since I already did boot into this USB and I already went through the getting started stuff. It took like 30 minutes, probably because we are running off at USB, but I'm interested to see what the actual speeds of like Crystal Disk Mark are going to be. All right, and here we are inside of the Windows 11 setup. I can't believe why I just blanked out there, but it is ridiculously slow. I mean, we can see the lag between clicking the buttons and actual stuff loading. Again, probably part of the reason why this got canceled. Now, this is a USB 3.0 USB, so it really should not be affected by this, but it still is. USB 3.0 speeds on this USB 3.0 SanDisk USB are just not fast enough for Windows 11. I'm really not looking forward to this part, considering the fact that the USB is running this slow, the getting things ready for you is probably going to take a ridiculously long time, especially for Windows 11. This project is already two hours over what I thought it would take just because of how slow running Windows on a USB is. We haven't even gotten in yet. We're just at this loading screen, and it appears to be frozen. Um, that's not really good. All right, so we're now in the desktop, and first off, obviously, there are no drivers. I'm going to let Windows Update, well, I'm going to try to let Windows Update take care of that, because typically it will install the drivers, because this is a more modern system. It'll download the 3070 Ti drivers and things like that. But just straight off the bat, I just clicked on File Explorer, it's highlighted it's not opening I just froze up the taskbar let me remind you that this system has a core i7 10700 K with 32 gigabytes of RAM and this is the kind of performance we're getting with Windows to go this isn't better than a hard drive this is worse than a hard drive I'm, I'm not even gonna be able to get on the internet to get crystal disk mark because this is too unbearable I can't bear this this is, this is way too slow. I clicked on File Explorer two minutes ago, and it's not up. There we go. We can just see how just unresponsive and how slow this is. I would say that this is worse than those, like, those pink HP laptops you get at Walmart for $200. This is unbearable. Wow. Um, as for Task Manager, going into the Performance tab, we can see what we can't see right now. We are using 100% of our disk, or of our USB, rather. This is ridiculous. We're using 100%. That is, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to even bother to open Edge. I, I can't even bear this anymore. So this is obviously one of the reasons why Windows to Go was discontinued. Just because when it didn't perform at all. 
I mean, this is like unbearable. I mean, things are starting to get better now, but you running Windows off of USBs is not the best thing. It might have been okay back in the days of Windows 8 and Windows 7, but with Windows 11 and how demanding that newer operating systems can be, this is definitely part of the reason why. Um, it, now, don't get me wrong. It is very nice to be able to take your USB, plug it into any computer, and boot into your own Windows environment. But with cloud PCs coming up, like I mentioned that in a previous video, there's really no need. There's no need for Windows to go anymore. So I would not recommend doing this at all. Windows to go is just a complete waste of time. It's useless. There's no point in it anymore. With how slow it is and how quickly Windows can install on a second partition, and even cloud computing, Chrome Remote Desktop, Team Viewer, Microsoft Remote Desktop, there's no need for this. You can do anything anywhere without carrying around a USB. So, before we end this before I end this video off, I want to see what happens if I unplug the Windows to go USB. So going in, we have our C drive. It is iconed as USB. Now if I remember correctly and not entirely sure, I think no, I don't know. I thought Windows to go ran off of ram but i don't i think i don't think it does so i'm going to unplug it from the system i have just unplugged the windows to go from my system it seems to be running working on it it can't find any drives right now uh opening settings nope can't open that something tells me we're getting ready to crash okay so obviously it doesn't show a blue screen it just doesn't like to work we have our desktop UI and that that's it so what happens if I plug it back in because I know in previous versions of like Windows 8.1 it would bring up a menu that said hey your USB got unplugged plug it back in for functionality so does Windows 11 still have that mm, I'm gonna plug the USB back in and maybe, just maybe, that will fix our problems. The USB is now in the... The activity lights on the USB are on and flashing. And as soon as it got plugged in, settings opened right up. The file explorer decided to work. So yes, that did appear to fix it. So, yep, there's our C drive. So... With that being said, it looks like Explorer just crashed. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos and experiments, including technology restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.